Hello, hello, hello. This is your girl, Kimmy, with Straight Arrow Motivations. Motivations. It's time for your motivation. 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 Hi. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Come on in. Come on in. This is your girl, Kimmy, with Straight Arrow Motivations. How are you doing? I'm doing well, well, well. Happy New Year. Oh, wow, guys, we made it. We made it. 2021 is gone, and now we have embarked on 2022. How is it going for everyone? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hoping that you are already getting your 2022 off to a great start. Yes. So, what's been up? What's been crack a lacking? I've just been chilling, relaxing, and enjoying and reflecting and just enjoying as we narrow down the vacation time and a lot of people have to go back to work and children are going back to school tomorrow so i will not make tonight's motivation very long i won't but i had to come and say hey to my peeps and see what's up so tonight is gonna be sunday fun day say that with me sunday fun day. And so we're just going to do something lightweight today. And I promise you that I will do some heavier, more serious topics later on this week. But let's just do something fun and not be long and just have a blast today. Just have a blast. So I thought that we would talk about cars. Let's talk about cars and I have some pictures of my old cars and we're going to go down memory lane and just hopefully you will in interact with me today so that I can find out about you and what type of person you are by the car that you drive. Does your car tell who you are? So let's get started. Now... What was the first car that you ever owned? Hmm. The first car that I ever owned that I bought um, was a 1985 Ford Mustang GT. Ooh, sounds fancy, doesn't it? Now, this is not the car, but this is one that is just like the one that I had. 1985 Ford Mustang GT. Now, the thing about it is <laughs> I got the car in, what, 90. So, um, I remember I had worked that summer and sent my mom money orders and she held on to those money orders and saved money and we went and purchased this car you know and it was a it was a used car and i was so excited and grateful my first car and i had to have a car to do my student teaching um that year so you know, I worked, 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 and and I still worked when I got back. I did um, work study, work study at my college at Grambling. I went to Grambling. And so my car, and it was blue, it was a blue Ford Mustang. I held on to that that whole year. And she gave me some troubles towards the end, but she did way better than we expected. So what was your first car? The first car that you ever owned. Put that in the comments for me. I'd like to know. I had a Ford Mustang and I love Mustangs. 
I love Mustangs. Now that car, unfortunately, it died. I had gotten a battery from a place and man, the battery blew up in the car and it killed my first car. It killed my first car. So that led me to my second baby, my second baby. Now this one, I gave her a name, car number two. Ooh, baby, you couldn't tell me nothing. I had a 1990 black Mitsubishi Eclipse. And on the front, now, now this one, my number two car, I named her. I named her Black Pearl. And you know how you used to go to the mall and get those t-shirts that the t-shirt man make you? Well, he made license plates too. And on the front, I had a black pearl, a hand holding a black pearl. Oh, you couldn't tell me anything. I had just graduated college. Boy, I tell you, it was on and popping, on and popping. Black Pearl was a stick shift. How many of you can drive a stick shift? I learned in college how to drive a stick shift. And honey, oh, boy, I tell you, woo, this was the closest thing to me to like a little race car, you know. Oh, and I had the black tinted windows. Remember when you used to get them black, like what they call the, the um, funeral home black tinted windows? Boy, they eventually outlawed those. But boy, you couldn't tell me that she was black on black on black with the black interior, the black velvety seats inside, stick shift. Woo! Boy, black pearl, black pearl. We had some times. And when I tell you men, black pearl was up and down 20. Boy, we traveled. We had fun. Miami, Memphis, New Orleans, you name it. Um, ATL. Boy, I just, I ran Black Pearl in the ground. Do you hear me? Car number two, Black Pearl. We had some fun times. We had some fun times. Now, as you can see, I'm not brand loyal because I went from a Mustang Ford to a Mitsubishi. Now, car number three, this is a 1998 Chrysler Sebring. Oh, and that was when the bronze color was first popular and coming out. And I had the rims on there. Oh, you couldn't tell me the big wheels. Boy, again, you couldn't tell me anything. Now, I don't remember. I don't think that I named. I don't think I named this one. I don't. I just, it's just not coming to me. I had in this one, I had a, excuse me, a very, bad accident. Somebody cut me off and I was spinning around. Man, I hit the, um, I was on 35 and it, somebody just cut me off and I swerved. I had a, um, hit the side over there. I had my tire, um, went out. I spun, spun, spun. And I saw my life flash before my eyes. All I could do was say, Jesus, and hold that wheel. And I spin, 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 spin. And um, I stopped just short of the pole. But in the meantime, boy, I just, they, and, and I, I was in an accident all by myself. That car clipped me and I lost control and driving fast. And I tell you, after that accident, that taught me to slow it down a little bit. Slow it down a little bit. Yeah, that was car number three, and I got her fixed. I spent my little income tax check. That was back in the day when I was getting an income tax check. <laughs> but I spent my little money, and, you know, it just, her, she had a broken um axle. She had a broken axle, so things never did get quite back right with that car, and it just, it was a roller coaster ride. My next baby coming up after her now, she was a 
Ooh, she was a stick too. I loved this car. Boy, I tell you, I just, it's something about those small little race type cars that I love. Do you guys like race cars? Do you like small cars? Or do you like long, big cars? What is your car that you're currently driving now? Put it in the comments. But I'm telling you, it's something about these little small toy little looking cars that, oh, they just do it for me. And I had her for a while. She was used. I got her when I got her. But she had, she traveled too now. She went to Florida. She went to Alabama, Georgia. She, I put some miles on her too. And, you know, I was living life really good at the time. And she was paid for and everything. And, and I named her too. I named her Snow Angel. Snow Angel. All of my cars have been either white or black or bronze. Go figure. But Snow Angel, somebody hit her from behind and made me hit the person in front of me. And she just got sandwiched and, you know, they tot totaled her out and um, totaled, you know, I just, that crushed me. I was like, oh, my baby. And she was paid for. So... Bummer. I loved her and very fuel efficient too. Good job, Master. Now my next one, this big bus right here, I call big bus. <laughs> the big bus right here. My next one was a Ford Taurus. It, I got it brand new and um, a friend that I used to work with, she knew somebody over at um, the place at the dealership. And they were basically handing out cars, you know. This car, um, even though it looks like a grandma car and, you know, it, it wasn't really, you know, the cutest car that I've ever had. It was the largest car that I've ever had. This bad boy had, it was so smooth. It ran so smooth. That was a 2004 Taurus car number five. Car number five. Now, this, this car <coughs> was really deceptive. You know what? When I had that Eclipse, when I had that Sebring, when I had the Mazda, I was getting tickets all the time. But the police discriminated because they never stopped me in this. In the school bus, they never stopped me. See, this looked like it was going slow. I could be going 100 because it was very smooth. Very luxurious ride. Um, but they never gave me a ticket on that one. I guess because it looked like a grandmother car. But I kept getting tickets on that Eclipse, that Sebring, and that Mazda. What's up with that? If you're a police, put that in the comments. Y'all thinking that one, honey, that, this, that one, the Ford Taurus, was the fastest car. That was the, I would be going 120 in that Ford Taurus. I would be going the speed limit in my other cars. And always got a ticket. Somebody right with that. Somebody right with that. Car number six. Now, this was my workhorse. This was my workhorse right here. I love this little car. Now, what happened to car number five? I didn't get to tell you. But her engine went out. Man, I was getting um, oil changes. <laughs> Wally wow. <clears throat> and I started having problems with leakage and it started leaking oil. And, you know, now I've only, I had only gone to that place, but they claimed that, you know, they weren't at fault. But anyway, it started having engine problems and it went out on me. And they were talking about, I, you know, I can get a new engine and it kind of set up in front of the house and I eventually um, just sold it to someone. But the body was real good, but underneath the hood. But I had gotten over 100,000 miles on it. So, But like I said, here's my, my number six car, Ford Taurus. The Ford Focus, I mean, the Taurus was before the Focus. This was a great, great car. When I tell you, 
Now, it didn't have the smooth luxury of the Taurus, but this was, I call her workhorse. This was a workhorse. That car got good gas mileage. Um, it just seemed like it scooted in and out. It was good. I rode the wheels off of that shebang. And I mean, you know, let me tell you, God spoke to me in a dream about that car. Okay. When I was at the end, it had, I had gotten it fixed several times. It was used when I got it, but I mean, just an excellent, excellent car. And I had a dream about a girlfriend of mine that had picked me up and, you know, she was like, what's going on? And I said, my car, my car. And in the dream, I remember her asking me, you know, like, okay, this is like the third time your car is broken down. What are you going to do? And I was like, I'm going to call, I'm going to call Black. That was my mechanic at the time. Shout out to Black if he's still fixing cars, selling cars. If he's still in Dallas, I don't know. But he was an excellent, excellent mechanic. And he would come out to your house as well. Well, you know, when I woke up from that dream, God was like, no, we're not going to Black. <laughs> You just go get you another car. And I was afraid because, you know, I was like, uh, I don't know my credit, da, 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 da. But God walked me all the way through it. And so now I'm in car number seven, which is my um, Nissan, my Nissan Altima. So, you know, car, I've had seven cars and um i've had this car now for going on six years six years so hey let me know in the comments what car you're currently driving what is your dream car what is your dream car guys do you want to know what my dream car is my dream car is the honda genesis i love that car i love that honda genesis boy that is a nice car i also have always had a dream to have a Jaguar and to have a Cadillac. I just felt like growing up, you had arrived if you had a Cadillac. And also a Corvette. Ooh. When I was a little girl, they used to have a parade and all the people that owned Corvettes, they had a Corvette club and they had those Corvettes in the parade and I just said, oh, one day, one day, one day. So it's still not too late to get my dream cars. But, you know, a Corvette, I'm like, uh, I like them fast and furious. But it's a little low for me now. So we'll see. If someone has a Corvette, I would like to ride in it. But what about motorcycles? Do you guys like motorcycles? Trucks? SUVs? Tell me what type of person you are. I think I would like an SUV. I rode on a motorcycle before. Um, not really, you know, that's ooh, a little bit too fast for me. I'm a car person, but I would like to try an SUV. I think I would like to try that SUV. So, hey, today we were just having fun talking about cars don't give up on your dream car. If it uh, if there's a car out there that you would really like to have, hey, talk about it, pray about it, speak it into existence. That's what I'm going to do with my Honda Genesis. Boy, I'm going to keep talking to God about it. Like, hey, I want that car. I want that car. And Honda, Hyundai Genesis, hey, Hyundai, if you're listening, your girl, your girl, I can drive it for you. I can, I can rep it for you if you'd like me to. But anyway, I'm going to say goodbye. I've held you up for quite too long now, but we just had a Sunday fun day talking about cars. Um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to share and to subscribe. I thank you so much for your support. Have a blessed, blessed evening. Bye-bye.